everyone, welcome to another Yarn Scrap Friday with me, Laura, and this week I'm going to be showing you how to make this little puff star flower. <music> this really by chance um, but someone said it looks like a little starfish as well so for this pattern we are going to be using to make one in pink this time and this is a DK light worsted weight yarn it's a yarn weight of three and with that we're going to be using a 3.5 millimeter e4 crochet hook but of course you can use any hook and yarn weight that you like and uh, we're going to be using a pair of scissors and you're also going to need a yarn tapestry needle as well. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create our slip knot to begin. And we are going to chain four to do a four chain loop. So pull the yarn through your loop. One, two, three, and four so chain four and then find your first chain that you did the first one down here put your hook into that first chain bring the yarn through the first chain then bring it straight through the loop on your hook to do a slip stitch and now we have a four chain loop that is joined at the beginning and the end and in the middle of course is a hole don't confuse it with your first chain hole you need to find that central hole there, that one there. And into that hole, we're going to put our hook. So make sure we put it in the right hole. And into there, we are going to do five single crochet. And this pattern's in US terminology. So we bring the yarn through the center hole, yarn over, pull through both loops to do a single crochet. Okay, we're just wrapping it around the chains now. We need five of these, so that's one. Go back into the center, bring the yarn through, and do another single crochet, two, and then another one, back into the center, bring the yarn through, yarn over, pull through both loops, three, so we've got three single crochet. You can see the hole gets a bit easier to see the more stitches you work. Three, and then another one. Four, and one more. Five. Okay, so we've done five single crochet. And if you have worked into that center hole, you should be able to just pull your tail end to bring in that hole slightly. Then what you want to do is find your first single crochet. So one, two, three, four, five. There's our first single crochet. I'm going to put our hook into there, going under both bits of yarn, one and two. Bring the yarn through that first stitch and straight for the loop on your hook. We need to do a slip stitch. By the end of that round, you should still have a stitch count of five. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we are going to chain three. So one, two, and three. Chain three. We're going to do a double crochet in the same stitch we just slip stitched into. So we're going to yarn over, wrap the yarn around your hook, and put your hook back into that same first stitch, the one you just slip stitched into. It's at the bottom of your chain, into there. We're going to do a double crochet. Through two, pull through two, okay. Then we're going to chain two, one and two, chain two, and we're going to do two double crochet in the next stitch. So we're going to go into the next stitch, whoops, go into the next stitch <laughs> and do two double crochet. So one double crochet and another one in the same stitch okay so two double crochet stitches in that same stitch okay so you've got two in there do two double crochet oh no we're going to chain two next sorry chain two one and two don't forget to chain two we're going to do two double crochet in the next stitch so we're just repeating this pattern round 
doing chain two, two double crochet, one and another one in the same stitch. Okay, then we're going to chain two again, one and two, chain two, then two double crochet in the next stitch. One and another one in the same stitch. Two. Okay, then we're going to chain two again, one and two. And we're going to do two double crochet in the last stitch. This is the last stitch here. Two double crochet in there, one and another one in the same stitch, two. Okay, two double crochet in there. And it looks like there's one more stitch there, but if you're used to my videos, you will know that is what I call a fake stitch. That's just there just to confuse you. So we're going to skip what looks like another stitch there. That's our fake stitch. And we're going to chain two, one and two, chain two. Then find the top of your three chains. So there's one, two, three, our third chain. And in your third chain at the top there, we're going to do a slip stitch. So I'm just going to pop that into that third chain. Bring the arm through that third chain and bring it straight for the loop on your hook oops to do a slip stitch okay so by the end of the second round you should have something that looks like this you should have two double crochet in each stitch round obviously the first three chains are counting as a double crochet and in between you should have two chains and what we're going to do now is something that's just a little bit fiddly but we need to get our um, our work down to this level so i'll explain in the next stitch which is going to be the top of your first proper double crochet we're going to do a slip stitch. So go into that next stitch and do a little slip stitch. Okay, so this is the this is going to be the fiddliest bit. Do a little slip stitch in there. Then I want you to do a slip stitch in, we're going to do two slip stitches down this first proper double crochet. So not the chains, the first proper double crochet. Okay, and you should be able to go under a little loop there and just bring the yarn through that little loop and bring it straight for the loop on your hook to do a slip stitch okay then there should be another little loop on your double crochet okay we're going to put our hook into there okay still on this double crochet and bring the yarn through that little loop and straight for the loop on your hook Okay, so basically just work a slip stitch in the next stitch, then two slip stitches down that first double crochet post. Okay, then turn your work upside down. Okay, turn your work upside down. And you want to find the first stitch that you worked into. Okay, so if you turn it upside down, turn it the right way up, sorry. Turn it right way up. You should see where that first stitch that you worked into is there. You can see where it's the uh, that first double crochet is coming out of. So if you turn it upside down, okay, keep an eye on it, and put your hook into that first stitch. Try and do this slowly so you can see. You basically just want to put it somewhere on that round, but hopefully in that first double crochet you worked into, that first uh, single crochet you worked into rather. Then just pop your hook out through that gap there. Then bring the yarn over. This is the only really complicated bit. And just do a little slip stitch. So bring it through that first stitch and then bring it straight for the loop on your hook. Okay, and that does a little slip stitch. So basically what you're doing, if I turn it the right, the right way up, is basically what you're doing is you do a little slip stitch in the next stitch and you're slip stitching down to the bottom, to this central circle. So do that as neatly as you can and get this tail out of the way, which is adding some confusion. Get out of the way, there we go. So I'll show you that again, what I did. Okay, so by the way, that, that was the end that was the end of this round, and we slip stitched into the top of our three chain. 
and there's our first proper double crochet post the stitch at in the next stitch along at the top we do a little slip stitch in there okay and then what I did is I divided this double crochet post up into two loops you can see you sometimes get two loops just work a couple of slip stitches down that post as neatly as you can so I brought it through that loop and I brought it through this loop and then I found the first single crochet that we worked into on this first round okay it's just it should be right near to where you're working pop your hook in there come out through the gap which is the other side of your first three chains actually then just bring the yarn round to the top bring it through that gap and you're coming through that first single crochet and you're coming straight through the loop on your hook as well to do a little slip stitch so you basically just slip stitch down to this level Okay, and you should be able to still see your three chains upside down. So there was our three chains and there was the double crochet we've just post we've slip stitched down. Should be able to see those three chains and in under we're going to work underneath those three chains. Okay, we're going to do some double crochets. So yarn over, then put your hook, basically doing a front post stitch, Put your hook in between that double crochet you just slip stitch down and those three chains put your hook into the gap in between there okay and go underneath those three chains get the tail end out of the way go underneath those three chains and bring the yarn behind okay so you've got your three loops then do your double crochet as normal so pull through two through two okay and we're going to do that three more times so yarn over go underneath those three chains again bring the yarn round the back and do a double crochet pull through two pull through two yarn over again do another one go underneath those three chains again bring the yarn round do a double crochet and do one more double crochet go back into that gap underneath your three chains bring the yarn round and do a double crochet and then you should be facing the right way up again so, and it should look a little something like that so you've basically worked some slip stitches down at that double crochet post to get to the bottom and then you've done four double crochets around those three chains Okay, then what we're going to do is we are going to do a little pico. We're going to chain two, one and two. Then find the stitch at the top of your last double crochet that you did. So there's the little stitch at the top there. Put your hook into there and do a little slip stitch. Just pull through, straight through on your loop. That creates a little pico just at the top. Then what we're going to do is we're going to work four double crochet underneath this double crochet and these slip stitches. So yarn over and put your hook into the big gap again in between that double crochet post and your now hidden three chains gap and go underneath and out through the, that gap there underneath that double crochet post and those chain uh, those slip stitches that are worked into it so go underneath that and then bring the yarn underneath and do a double crochet one Two, pull through two. I'm going to do four of those under there as well. So that's one yarn over, go underneath that double crochet post with all those slip stitches again. Bring the yarn underneath. Pull through two, pull through two. So that's two double crochet. We need to do two more underneath the post again. Bring the yarn round. Pull through two pull through two and one more underneath post again 
Oops. Pull through two, pull through two. Okay, so you end up with something that looks like that. If I put it the right way up. Okay. So you've got four double crochet under those three chains and four double crochet under that double crochet post with all the slip stitches. Then turn your work upside down. We're actually going to work in this direction. We're kind of normally we, when we crochet, we work in this direction. We're actually going to be going in the opposite direction. Opposite direction. Now find the next stitch, the next slip, uh, slip stitch, the next single crochet that was on the first round. You can see that stitch there where those two double crochets are coming out of. Put your hook into there, okay, then come out through the gap at the side, just to the left of those two double crochets in between. So basically that two chain space. Then bring your yarn over, bring the yarn through that stitch and straight through the loop on your hook to do a slip stitch. Okay, and then we just repeat exactly what we've done here over the next two double crochet posts. So what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over and go in between the two double crochet. So go into the gap in between the two posts and go underneath the double crochet post on the left. Bring the yarn underneath and do a double crochet. Okay, so that's one. Yarn over again. Try and keep it so you can see it clearly. It's quite difficult because it's quite fiddly. Yarn over again and go under that double crochet post again, the one on the left, out through the two chain space. And do another double crochet, wrapping it round. And do another one. You want four underneath that double crochet three and one more yarn over under that double crochet post four and to make sure that you've worked into the right one you should still be able to see the second double crochet post here out of those two okay so we've gone on gone under the one on the left to keep so keep the right one free okay so you've done four double crochet wrapped underneath that double crochet post then we do our little pico, we chain two, one and two. And we do a little slip stitch into the top, that stitch at the top of our last double crochet. So we hook into there, bring the yarn through, do a little slip stitch. Okay. Now we're facing this direction and you should still be able to see that second post there. I'm gonna do four double crochet underneath that post. So go back through that gap, out for that two chain space, just go underneath it and do four double crochet under there. So one. This one should be a bit easier to see because it hasn't got any slip stitches down it. Two. Three. And last one. Four. Wrap them all around that double crochet post, okay, like so. And then turn your work upside down and we do the same thing again. We find the next single crochet stitch from the first round here. So where the next two posts, double crochet posts are coming out of. Find that stitch, put your hook into there, come out for the two chain space, bring the yarn over, the yarn over, bring it through the two chain space, through the stitch, through the yarn uh, loop on your hook to do a slip stitch. And there we go, there is our second little point of our star, puff star. And now we've got our next two double crochet posts to do the same thing again. So find the one on the left and do four double crochets under there. So go in between them, come out for the two chain space and wrap four double crochets around that double crochet. One, two, three, and four. Okay, 
it's for double crochet just still be able to see the one on this side double crochet do a little pico chain two don't forget to do your little pico chain two find the stitch at the top of your last double crochet hook into there do a little slip stitch Oops. then under the, the other double crochet the one that was on the right we're going to do four double crochet so just go back into that gap in between out for the two chain space so just underneath it do four double crochet under there one two And one more. Four. And then we're facing upside down again. And there's our third part of our little star. So again, find the next single crochet stitch from the first round where the two double crochet is coming out of and put your hook into there. Out through the next two chain space. Get that tail end out the way. Curse of the tail and good title for a book. <laughs> Bring the arm through there, do a little slip stitch, and then we're ready to do the next two double crochet posts, which are there. Okay, so find the one on the left there and work four double crochets under there. So go in between them and underneath the double crochet on the left post. Four double crochets. One, two, three, and one more, four. Okay, and we're facing the right way up again. Should still be able to see the second post free there. Do a little pico, chain two, one and two. Slip stitch in the top of your last double crochet stitch. And then work four double crochet under the second post. Back through, just underneath. Four double crochet under there. Two. Three and one more four. We're facing upside down now. And there's our fourth little petal. And so we're going to do one more. You should have two double crochet posts left. I'm gonna cut that tail because it's annoying me. <laughs> cut that down. Okay, so you should have two double crochet post left, find the stitch from the first round, the single crochet stitch that they're coming out of, and put your hook into there, out through two chain space, make sure to bring the yarn over, bring it through the stitch, straight through the loop on your hook, and then we're going to work four double crochets through the last set of two double crochets. So find the one on the left, Go in between them, out through the two chain space, and wrapping it underneath post. Do four double crochets. Oops, it's a half double crochet. So one. You might want to move them down. One. bit fiddly on the last one, two, three, and four, okay, and we're facing the right way up, and you should be able to see 
the second, the very last double crochet post. Don't forget your pico, chain two, one and two, slip stitch in the top of your last double crochet stitch. And do four double crochet underneath that last double crochet post. Just like before. One. Three and last one, four, four. Then all we're going to do is we're going to find the very first single crochet. That we worked into basically just tuck it under under there okay under that first petal and then just poke through down or if that's too fiddly what we can do if you can't find it is just cut your yarn it's probably easier to do it this way actually than on camera just bring up your yarn and get your yarn needle it's probably much easier thread that on then what we're going to do is we're just going to bend that over and just sew down to the back. Then that should just bring in that last petal, like so. And then you can hide your tail ends on the back if you want to, or you can keep them. I've cut that one short because of the video, but uh, you can keep them long and use them to tie on them onto something, your little star onto. But there we go. There is our little puffed star flower starfish thing and I hope you managed to follow along a little bit fiddly this one uh, a little bit difficult to show on camera as well but these these look really cute and uh, make a fun little project as you can see I've made quite a few of these in different colors and if you want to get festive you can of course get some sparkly yarn and make one in a nice sparkly gold or silver color for Christmas make a great little cre uh, cre can't speak. tree decoration <laughs> but I will see you soon for some more Crochet fun. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.